Foreign direct investment (FDI) in India is a major monetary source for economic development in India. Foreign companies invest directly in fast-growing private Indian businesses to take benefits of cheaper wages and changing business environment of India. Economic liberalization started in India in wake of the 1991 economic crisis and since then FDI has steadily increased in India, which subsequently generated more than 1 crore jobs. According to the Financial Times, in 2015 India overtook China and the US as the top destination for the foreign direct investment. In first half of the 2015, India attracted investment of $31 billion compared to $28 billion and $27 billion of China and the US respectively. Topic routes Topic There are two routes by which India gets FDI. Automatic route, by this route FDI is allowed without prior approval by Government or Reserve Bank of India. Government route, prior approval by Government is needed via this route. The application needs to be made through Foreign Investment Facilitation Portal, which will facilitate single window clearance of FDI application under approval route. The application will be forwarded to the respective ministries which will act on the application as per the standard operating procedure. Foreign Investment Promotion Board which was the responsible agency to oversee this route was abolished on May 24, 2017. It held its last meeting on the 17th of April, which was the 245th meeting of the board. On the 24th of May 2017, Foreign Investment Promotion Board was scrapped by the Union Government. Henceforth, the work relating to processing of applications for FDI and approval of the government thereon under the extant FDI policy and FEMA shall now be handled by the concerned ministries departments in consultation with the Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion (DIP), Ministry of Commerce, which will also issue the standard operating procedure for processing of applications and decision of the government under the extant FDI policy topic Government initiatives topic The Government of India has amended FDI policy to increase FDI inflow. In 2014, the government increased foreign investment upper limit from 26% to 49% in insurance sector. It also launched Make in India initiative in September 2014 under which FDI policy for 25 sectors was liberalised further. As of April 2015, FDI inflow in India increased by 48% since the launch of Make in India initiative. India was ranking 15th in the world in 2013 in terms of FDI inflow. It rose up to 9th position in 2014, while in 2015 India became top destination for foreign direct investment. Topic sectors topic During 2014-15, India received most of its FDI from Mauritius, Singapore, Netherlands, Japan, and the US. On 25 September 2014, Government of India launched Make in India initiative in which policy statement on 25 sectors were released with relaxed norms on each sector. Following are some of major sectors for foreign direct investment. Topic infrastructure 10% Topic of India's GDP is based on construction activity. Indian government has invested $1 trillion on infrastructure from 2012 to 2017, 40% of this $1 trillion had to be funded by private sector, 100% FDI under automatic route is permitted in construction sector for cities and townships. Topic automotive e topic FDI in automotive sector was increased by 89% between April 2014 to February 2015. India is seventh largest producer of vehicles in the world with 17.5 million vehicles annually. 100% FDI is permitted in this sector via automatic route. Automobiles shares 7% of the India's GDP. Topic pharmaceuticals Topic Indian pharmaceutical market is third largest in terms of volume and 13th largest in terms of value. Indian pharma industry is expected to grow at 20% compound annual growth rate from 2015 to 2020, 100% FDI is permitted in this sector. Topic service Topic FDI in service sector was increased by 46% in 2014–15. It is US $1.88 BL in 2017. Service sector includes banking, insurance, outsourcing, research and development, courier and technology testing. FDI limit in insurance sector was raised from 26% to 49% in 2014. Topic railway topic 100% FDI is allowed under automatic route in most of areas of railway other than the operations like high speed train, railway electrification, passenger terminal, mass rapid transport systems etc. 
Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Corridor Project is single largest railway project in India, other being CSTM Panvel Suburban Corridor. Foreign investment more than 90,000 crore rupees $13 billion is expected in these projects. Topic chemicals Topic Chemical industry of India earned revenue of $155–160 billion in 2013. 100% FDI is allowed in chemical sector under automatic route. Except hydrocinic acid, phosgene, isocyanates and their derivatives, production of all other chemicals is delicensed in India. India's share in global specialty chemical industry is expected to rise from 2.8% in 2013 to 6 to 7% in 2023. Topic textile topic textile is one major contributor to India's export. Nearly 11% of India's total export is textile. This sector has attracted about 1647 million dollars from April 2000 to May 2015. 100% FDI is allowed under automatic route. During year 2013-14, FDI in textile sector was increased by 91%. Indian textile industry is expected reach up to $141 billion till 2021. Topic airlines Topic Foreigner investment in a scheduled or regional air transport service or domestic scheduled passenger airline is permitted to 100, with FDI up to 100% permitted under automatic route and beyond 49% through poor existing airport under automatic route. Topic references topic topic External links topic Foreign Investment Facilitation Portal Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion